Hello everyone, welcome to NCERT 6 to 10 class in short. Today we are going to discuss about dated history, section 1, events and processes, the rise of nationalism in Europe, chapter number 2, the making of nationalism in Europe. In the last video we have discussed about the conditions of Europe in the mid 18th century. Now we have a question. How did nationalism and the idea of a nation state emerge in Europe? For knowing this, we should know about the history of Europe in mid 18th century. The aristocracy and the new middle class. Socially and politically aligned aristocracy was the dominant class in Europe, but they were numerically small in number. The term aristocracy means ruling class, that means they were land honored ruling class in Europe during the mid 18th century. The members of this class were united by a common way of life that cut across regional divisions. They owned estates in the countryside and also townhouses. They spoke French for purpose of diplomacy. Their families were connected by ties of marriage. At the same time, the majority of Europe's population was made by the peasantry. In the western region, the bulk of the land was cultivated by the tenants and small owners. In the eastern and central Europe, the pattern of land holding was like estates which were cultivated by serfs. So, tenants or serfs can be said in large number in Europe those times. The growth of industrial production and trade in the western and parts of central Europe led to the growth of the town and the emergence of commercial classes whose existence was based on the production of the market. This was actually a new beginning in the history of Europe. That means industrialization or industrialism was beginning during this time. Europe was witnessing a new era in its history during this time. Industrialization began in England in the mid half of the 18th century. However, the same was began in France and parts of Germany only in the 19th century. Anyway, the industrialization has brought about tremendous changes in the history of Europe from the mid 18th century. It has made many changes in the social and political background of Europe during this time. In its wake, a new social classes came into being, that means a working class population and a middle class population including the industrialists, businessmen and professionals began during this time. In Eastern and Central Europe, these groups were smaller in number in the late 19th century. So these were the conditions of Europe during the mid 18th and 19th century, that means beginning of the 19th century. So from the middle classes or it was among the educated middle classes that ideas of national unity following the abolition of aristocratic privileges gained popularity. Thus, the idea of nationalism had its root from the so formed middle classes. In the next video, we will be continuing the same nationalism and its meaning. Until then, bye and thank you.